Okay, what I would like to do for this problem is like to look at a fun, easy, simple sort of latent heat problem, phase change problem. We're going to have a big block of ice. Um, how does it actually read? It reads um, a large block of ice. So what they mean by a large block of ice in these problems, when they speak about a large block of ice, or a large bit of anything, is really that you have enough of it to do whatever it is they want you to do with it without any complications like, you know, you run out of ice. Uh, the ice is going to be at zero degrees C. Now because he, there's a block of ice there, someone's decided that, you know, as is as just about anybody would. Anybody would do this. They say there's a big block of ice, so I'm going to shoot a bullet at it. So somebody shoots a bullet at it. And it's a three gram bullet. It's moving at um, 240 meters per second. Uh, it's at 30 degrees C. And it's made out of lead. Okay. And so the question is, is when this bullet hits this block of ice, how much of the ice, uh, how much of the ice is going to melt? So the bullet's going to get stuck in here somewhere in the big block of ice. There's enough ice that it's going to do that. So that's our representation. That's how we draw our problem. It looks something like that. So now, we want to just list out all the things that we know, right? So uh, we're calling that ID, right? And we'll start with our givens. So we have a block of ice. And we said that that block of ice here um, had as much as we wanted, wanted of it and it has a um, in, it has a temperature it has a temperature uh, T ice H2O is equal to zero degrees C also we have a um, bullet. So we have a bullet and it also has a temperature or is at a temperature. It doesn't have a temperature. It's not ill. Um, and that's 30 degrees C. Its initial temperature is going to be 30 degrees C. Its final temperature is going to be 0 degrees C, right? We want to know all of, we want to figure out where all of the um, energy goes in this problem. Well, we know all, where, it all, where it all goes. It all goes into the ice. What does all of this energy that's going into the ice do to the ice? That's our problem. So we've got an temp initial temperature. Um, the other things that we need to know about it are its mass, uh, which is m is equal to 3 grams. Uh, we need to know its speed which is um, V is equal to uh, 240 meters per second. And so then we need to find something. We want to find the amount of ice. We want to find the amount of ice that melts. And so we're going to call that delta M. How much of the ice changes its phase from ice to water? Okay. So by um, saying that, it makes it fairly simple to tell or ask her to figure out what the concept is. We want to talk about phase changes. We want to talk about latent heat, which is the easiest way to talk about phase changes. Um, the latent heat is, yeah, it has a general equation 
the latent heat's general equation is um, Q is equal to L delta M. Q is equal to L delta M. So now uh, we want to use this, uh, but we have to find out what this Q is. Really this Q is going to be the whole change in the internal energy. So I don't know why we just have Q there. Um, but all of the energy that goes into this will um, change the temperature of the ice. So we're also going to need here, we're going to need um, delta E is equal to Q plus W, right? So this is going to be the heat um, that's coming into the ice from the bullet and the work is going to be the work done on the ice from the bullet. And the work is going to be equal to the change in the kinetic energy. Um, okay, we just use K in this book. And the kinetic energy is going to be K is equal to one half mv squared. So not too complicated. We just have to use a few few things to um, get everything put together. Um, so we want to find delta M. That's equal to delta E over L, like that. Um, which is going to be equal to Q plus W over L, okay, which is going to be equal to Q, uh, well, that's Q is going to be equal to MC delta T, right? So we're just going to cool this down to the um, same temperature as the ice. That's a calorimetry sort of problem. So we have MC delta T, which means we're going to have to know C here for the lead, um, and that is 128 uh, joules per kilogram per degree centigrade. So we have 128 joules per kilogram per degree centigrade. I'm going to check that real quick. Okay, that's correct. Um, then we get to add in the um, change in the kinetic energy, which is going to be one half mv squared. We've got that and we divide that by L. The latent heat for this guy, so we should add in that. The latent heat for water is 3.33 times 10 to the minus 5 joules per kilogram. Okay. Okay, so now we just throw all this together. We've got a bunch of numbers, we'll put them all in there. So our mass is three grams, which is 0 0.003 kilograms. Um, our specific heat, I just said, was 128 joules per kilogram degree C. Uh, the change in the temperature is from 30 degrees C to zero degrees C. So, um, got 30 degrees C there. Um, because actually this is the change for this guy and everything's going to be minus because we're actually looking at how much heat goes from here into here. Or how much energy goes from here to here as heat. Plus one half, 0 0.003 kilograms times 240 meters per second squared. And we divide that whole thing by 3.33 
times 10 to the minus 5 joules per kilogram. And now it's just typing numbers into a calculator. And in typing numbers into a calculator, we find that it's about 0 0.294 grams. Okay. So does that make sense? Well, first, so let's do some sort of check. Um, first, let's see, it's got the correct units. We're okay with that. Secondly, what else can we look at? Um, this, this number is um, much smaller than this number. Does that make sense? Uh, actually, it does, right? Um, water requires a lot of heat to change temperature or to go into a phase change. Uh, compared to a lot means you have to compare it to um, solids. Okay, so it makes sense that um, a small uh, a small bullet will have an even smaller amount of melting when it embeds itself into the ice. Okay, thank you very much. I will see you on Monday.